this year, which means it's time for high schoolers across the state to grab their rackets. But we're not just talking about tennis anymore. No, as Dave McCoy shows us, badminton continues to boom in popularity with more and more schools adding teams. The newest is Bloomington Kennedy. Going on down and back. Down and back. You're watching the newest varsity sport at Bloomington Kennedy. The school launched its brand new badminton team this spring. There's a lot of interest. As a FIA teacher, every time we play badminton, the kids love it. It's one of the easiest units to teach. They get excited about it. They all want to play. Todd Kennedy grew up in Canada and played badminton in high school. So when the school decided to start the team, he was the natural choice to lead it. It's really exciting starting a new program at our school. I think some of the challenges are getting the word out, getting the girls registered, having them take their physicals, go online and register. So I think some of the, the challenges are more administratively. There's a lot of excitement about our, our badminton program. I have friends who have badminton team at their school who's been like, what's been going on for years. And I really wanted that at this school. So now we like actually have it so like I can tell them, oh, we have it, our own team now. In Minnesota, the sport is gradually growing in popularity with a new school adding a new team seemingly every couple years. There are nearly 20 now, and Kennedy believes that number will keep rising for one simple reason. But it's just, I think, meeting the needs of, of our girls here. I, I've coached girls golf for a long time. At Kennedy, our numbers have declined. The interest kind of stagnated a little bit. But badminton is really growing. So I, I you know, kudos to our school district, kudos to our athletic department for recognizing that and offering a sport that, you know, hopefully we can get 30, 40, 50, 60 girls out in the future. What Kennedy's most excited about is all the new athletes the badminton team has created. He said only two girls on his team had ever played it competitively before, and the vast majority of his players had never been on any sports team before this. I don't know the exact percentage, but I would guess 90% or above, this is their only sport. You know, they haven't participated in traditional sports, a volleyball or a basketball or a soccer. So they're really excited to play the sport, and that's, I think, what I'm most interested in. Well, we have a lot of girls out here that are getting involved in their school, they're getting involved in a sport, they're getting healthier, they're playing, they're having some fun. So I'm really excited about that. The more that word gets out that we're offering this, I think other schools will want to do the same thing. Good luck. You ever played? A little bit. She did. I can do that. Yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. Stop doing it's, that. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's fun, yeah. especially when you get good at it. So we wish them luck.